am the whale who swallowed Jonah, and my name is Babaloo. There is only one thing I want you to remember, and that is God loves you. You are probably wondering how I know Jonah. Well, let me tell you. Jonah was this guy who God told to go to the Ninevites and tell them to repent. Who were the Ninevites, you ask? They were anyone who has ever called you a name, taunted you, hit you, or wanted bad things to happen to you, all rolled up in one. Jonah didn't want to go there. So he took off in the opposite direction to get as far away as he could from Nineveh. But then a storm came up, and to make a long story short, there I was swimming along minding my own business when I saw Jonah floundering in the water, so I swallowed him. The first day wasn't so bad, but the second day I started to get a bit of a tummy ache. By the third day, I was feeling really bad with Jonah stomping around down there talking to God. So I swam to the beach as fast as I could, and I threw him up. <laughs> Before I left, I said to Jonah, you know, Jonah, you have to remember God loves you. And you know what he said? <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. And he walked away. Jonah didn't get it. I figured that was the last I would hear of him. But then a little while later, I ran into a fish who had just talked to an octopus, who had heard it from a crab, who had just got done talking to a worm. And this is what the worm told the crab. He said that Jonah had gone to Nineveh and told the people to repent, and that they had but that Jonah was more concerned that a bush that the worm had eaten had died than he was about what might happen to the Ninevites. What's more, said the worm, he was mad that God hadn't punished the Ninevites. I knew then that Jonah really had gotten it. I decided I had to find him. For day after day, I would swim by the beach and stick my big head up and look for him with my big eye, and I didn't find him. Finally, when I was about ready to give up, I saw him just sitting on the beach looking mopey. So I swam up to the beach and flopped down beside him. Jonah, I said, your problem is that your ocean is too small. Everyone knows that when you say God loves you, you're not saying that God loves only you. God loves everyone. The worms and the crabs and the octopi and the fish and the whales know that there is nothing we can do that will separate us from the love of God. That's all of us. Everywhere. Jonah, I said, I know this from my blubber to my brains. I think that it is time that you figured it out, too. And Jonah looked up at me and shook his head and laughed and cried all at the same time. You know what, well, he said to me. I think that you might just be right. So I opened my mouth as wide as I could and yelled at the top of my lungs, which they tell me is pretty loud. I am the whale who swallowed Jonah, and my name is Bubaloo. There is only one thing that I want you to remember, and that is that God loves you.